next game on the 2020 docket is the LA Rams versus the Washington football team. I'm taking the Rams uh, in this game. That was easy. Um, with the Washington football team, they benched their quarterback. And they just didn't bench him. They made him the third option where he's not even going to be dressing. And he ran into a bad, bad situation where he was drafted by Gruden. Then Gruden get fired. So a new regime comes in. So you got a new playbook. And not only did Rivera bring, come in, he also bring in the quarterback from his former team. And so Hoskin actually was the quarterback that defeated the Carolina Panthers that, that got him fired. And Kyle Allen that. was the quarterback that game that he got fired in. So he had no off season. No training camp, no preseason. And so they basically benching him because they feel that Kyle Allen gives them a better shot at winning because he knows the playbook. And you remember they started out the season last year, the Carolina Panthers, I think 6-1, and one, but then they lost their last seven or something like that with him in there. Yeah, but Cam played like the first couple of games of the season. Right? And so... um. But with Hobson, it's like, what's going to happen going forward with his career? Because I believe somebody, some other team out there still going to believe in him. But for them to put him as the third option and put Alex Smith as the second, when, when Alex Smith is coming off of that disastrous injury that he had, it makes me think maybe it's a little bit more there with him. Like coaching staff, like they just feel like he's not prepared, and I have, believe it has to be with that playbook, him understanding the play calls, the audibles, and stuff like that. But but name, he had okay numbers. Yeah, no, that my friend said like they say that, but it was like yo, like it was only like one game this season where I thought like yo he had a terrible, terrible game, and I think that was against San Francisco, and that was before they had all them injuries. So you expect for going up against that defense, a lot of quarterback, and he a rookie. Yeah, basically he a rookie. He didn't get to play that many games last year. So he's still kind of a rookie with no offseason. You, you expect for him to have that type of bad game. I think the first game he threw for like 300 yards and got them a win. And and they showed it. Like the, some of the people that was on some of them, they were showing like, no, this ain't just on him. It's on the wide receivers. It's on the offensive linemen. These dudes out here, they ain't running the right routes. Yeah, but at the end of the day, none of it matters because Ron Rivera feel more comfortable with a player that he no, no I, longer. I, I ain't a that. player that he drafted, by the way, in Kyle I, Allen. I get that. But and so that's why I believe that they put him in, strictly off of that playbook. I get that. I get all of that. But if Kyle Allen go out there and he play like crap, just – he played worse than Dwayne Haskins, and you keep him in now, you gonna know you're going to get them people like, yo, why did you do that? They ain't do that with Nick Foles because Nick Foles been trash since they put him in for Trubisky. He was trash Foles, last night. Yeah, just happened to can, win the game, but he was trash hey. last night too. He was missing some of the same type of throws that people crucified. crucified Trubisky for missing. They're two different teams, and I, went, I didn't tell them just like – I ain't gonna lie. I was surprised when they put Nick Foles in, and they started him because I was like, "Yo, people were telling me that Trubisky was playing great, and it went like he turned the ball over in that Falcon game, but they just sat him. So I don't know what, what, and why these coaches do the things that they do, but Ron Rivera seemed to know that no, if he play bad and I lose, and I lose his job, well, oh well. So that's my thing. Like when he said that, like, wait a minute, don't you want this job? So you basically saying, yeah, you make this, make the decision, 
Now, if Kyle Allen go out there and he play terrible and he gets you fired, oh well. He ain't going to get him fired on the first year. Like, part no, of, part no, of the thing I'm is. I'm just taking what, like, yeah, that probably won't happen. I'm just taking what he said. Like, this is how he came out. Like, yo, yeah, we make the decision. We sticking with the decision. And if he play, it, it go wrong and I'm fired for it, oh well. Like, that's my thing, but. I don't know what Kyle Allen going to do. I mean, because we got to see. Man, we going off of his last resume. He didn't look that great in Carolina. Hell, they cut him. So that was the reason why he was able to go to Washington. So, and he playing the L.A. Ram defense this this week. It ain't going to look good. It ain't going to be good. Them boys out here playing pretty good. I think, what, ain't the Ram 4-0? I think. No, oh, they lost a game, I think. Yeah, I think they did. I forget what game it was. The first game of the season, I think, was against San Francisco. It won on. But, no, because Arizona played with San Francisco. Um, But I'm taking the Rams in this game. I think their defense is – it been tough. I think they're often getting a little bit back to form. So, but I'm taking, I'm taking the L.A. Rams in this game. Um, and I'm going to say they're going to score 35, 35 to 14. All right. Hit that like button, people subscribe to the channel, drop a comment, share, all that good stuff, man. We really appreciate our love y'all show on this video.